Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is Angular testing full tutorial series for beginners. In this particular series, we are trying to focus learning on the tooling of Angular CLI, Jasmine, Karma, Protractor and Cucumber framework from scratch to advanced. Today we are going to learn how to skip tests in Angular. Not very oftenly used, but extremely useful when you are running into trouble, especially while deployments into your build pipelines. This is part six of the Angular testing series. Welcome. I have already created few uh, Angular series tutorials and uh, the playlist links are in the description box below. Make sure you check them out if you really want to learn and master Angular 9 and Angular CRUD series. All right, so to work and test any Angular application to learn that we need a sample project. As part of Angular CRUD tutorial series, I created a project uh, called Products Feature Module for our e-commerce application. That's what we are using it uh, for this particular series. So make sure you grab it from the GitHub link I've given in the description box below. If you want to learn how to set it up and run it, the part one of this particular series, the episode one, has the details step by step, how to install, how to run in your local. All right, now let's talk about today's uh, focus topic, which is how to skip test, why skip test? So skipping test is a, um, Angular supports, uh, Angular has support for skipping test. And sometimes it's very useful in suppressing a failing test case. So let's say a test case is continuously failing for some reason we don't know, and we are unable to figure out the solution or the fix for it. But it's urgently required that we need to deploy. And because of that particular test case, we cannot deploy. And if we categorize it as a non-core, which means it can, it's okay if we skip it, right, for temporary then we can definitely skip the test so that our build passes, right? But also more often in unit testing, right? Uh, when you do it in your local build, when you're working in a large team, when everybody's pushing code left, right, center, in your building code in your local is extremely important. And you have to focus on writing your test, not everybody else's test whose test is failing. There again, you have an option to skip test. So we can skip test for three things. One, for the new applications, Second, for existing applications. Third, for existing test scripts, right? So we'll cover all of that. So how do you, how do you skip test? So to skip test, uh, the first option is tell the CLI, tell Angular that I'm not interested in test, right? Which is a bad practice, but it's sometimes it's useful. Why? Because let's say your manager gave you a task to do a POC or a R&D, right? So there you're not interested in running test or you're writing test script. You're only interested in building the functionality quickly. That's where it makes sense to skip the test, right? So the command for that would be ng new application name followed by skip test, right? So, so if you say ng new followed by the name of it, right? Okay, I have an issue here. Okay, let me fix that. All right, so you'll write ng new and then followed by the application name. So let's say CRM app any name you can give and then you'll write skip hyphen test right so what happens is now uh, i have to be outside okay so you have to be outside of the application project directory it's, it will build it will build a brand new application and i'll show you the difference what happens now if you see here carefully it has not generated any test spec file like if you go to any angular application you would see app component.spec.ts, which is unit testing file. But here it has not generated it for you because we said to skip it, right? Here, if you see the command, we said skip test. So this entire application, they will not have any unit test. This is good, like I said, for when you're building a brand new application and your focus is only on running the application functionality and not the test. The second option is for existing applications. If you don't want to generate any further um, application components, then you can set the schematics of the component to skip test equal to true, right? So that's in angular.json. So if you go here, right, in your angular.json, this is angular nine, but um, so what we can do is we can set that to true, but that's really not encrypt. So I'm not going to show you that because you'll end up doing and messing up the application, but remember, in the schematics in angular.json here, right? You will have to create an object for um, at the rate schematic slash component and then say that you will say skip tests true, right? So this way it will not generate the, the 
it will not generate the uh, tests for any components that you generate inside this particular application right unless you are a pro unless do not try this do not try this unless you know what you are getting into right uh, it's not tough it's just that uh, it may end up screw up uh, some of the schematics generation with angular cli we don't want that uh, issues right so only if you know what you're doing do it else just leave it it's fine you can do it in the other way which is adding x and x in front of the describe and its statements right so for example uh, don't worry don't worry at all um, let me also write it down do not worry about describe and its statements for one for just this episode okay because i am starting coding and hands-on tutorial on jasmine test scripts starting next episode okay so you will learn all about it we will write those statements you will understand everything for now just go with the flow so i'm telling you that if you want to skip test what you need to do you will have describe statement just add x in front of it it was not in front of before each in front of describe so you'll write x that means it will be skipped it will not be executed okay and then similarly you'll have a it statements just add x in front of it right so that means this test case will not be executed okay so remember just add x to prefix to to describe and its statements to suppress the test specs right why we are adding it why we are adding how we are adding how it will execute these are all open questions i know you will have uh, what is uh, describe right what what is it statement what it it function right all of this will be all of these are part of jasmine right jasmine tests right all of these questions that you have in mind will be answered in the next episode uh, where we will start writing our own test scripts from scratch from abc of jasmine okay uh, forget what angular generates for you you will be able to write test cases like this like a professional from scratch starting next episode because there we will write from jasmine assuming that you do not know anything right if you know it's well and good if not you will still be able to write jasmine test from scratch you will know what is jasmine framework what is the syntax how to write it where to write it how to run them right that's going to be very interesting so far what we have covered is mainly the angular cli tooling with respect to testing right so we have seen ng test we have seen ng e to e test we have seen ng test hyphen hyphen code hyphen coverage we have seen ng test hyphen hyphen skip hyphen tests so uh, sorry ng new right and then um, yeah so these are some of the uh, tooling things that we have seen we have done code coverage we have seen how to run unit test right this is for unit test this is for end to end tests this is for getting code coverage right this is for skipping fail skipping tests right so you can also in focus uh, there is also something called focus tests right uh, that we'll see as part of jasmine so it's just that nothing but we'll add f in front of the um, test scripts we'll learn about it as part of jasmine so these are some of the testing utilities provided by cli tooling for testing right remember now next we'll be starting jasmine framework similarly we will start with karma runner will know how to configure that then we will write our scripts on protractor finally we will end this series by covering cucumber okay so that is the flow so there here it ends the cli but it's not just the end of it we will learn we will improve it's a continuous improve learning improvement having said let's episode next episode we are going to talk about what is jasmine and you will be able to write your first 
hands-on Jasmine application uh, test scripts in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining, friends. I hope you are liking the series. Please keep uh, those comments coming in. I really love them when I see them. It's very encouraging. And if you like to buy me a coffee, the link is here. Please do buy me coffee. I'll be grateful to you. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.